Hey all, Binks here. One of my favorite archetypes in Marvel Snap for a very long time has been Dracula Dump. A variety of deck where you use Dracula, not necessarily a discard deck, but just to try and target some very, very high power cards uh, to give you a nearly guaranteed Dracula and an Infinite that my opponents can always hit without setting anything up. Uh, so this deck that we have today, uh, Dracula Dump, uh, we use a couple of new tools. So we have Zabu in here. The new Zabu is going to discount our four cost cards in our deck. Uh, we have three different four cost cards in here. Uh, we have Dracula itself, and then we use Crossbones, Coal Obsidian, and Scar and kind of the three card package uh to just try and get these cards out uh shang chi is pretty low play rate right now so you don't have to play around it nearly as much as you usually do but getting these cards out can give you a really cheap scar and open up some really really interesting things on the early end uh, we also have some early game plays uh, with things like you know Iceman and squirrel girl to get some one drops out and then we can marvel boy them uh, makari's gonna jump out of our hand to just continue to clear our hand uh, to make sure that both our strong guy and our dracula are hitting what they need to just a really, really fun overall deck that a lot of people won't expect or respect right now. So they're not going to really respect uh, that your Dracula is going to be 21 power. So you can just uh, blow them out with it, which is really awesome. You're actually going to see two different versions of this deck. This is the deck I ended up with. Uh, we also had our version one, uh, which had some differences. We had Shanna and Shadow King in here instead of having the uh, Colleen Wing, which is helping helps us to kind of thin our hand a little bit more. Um, and the... Um, uh, strong guy which is just another kind of like power push for us shannon was here to push a little bit more into the zooey side of things this deck has a lot of things going for it but overall it was really great i think you could work with either of these shadow king is really good if you're facing a lot of like agent venom thana type decks uh but i really wasn't so i was switching over to this version which is a little bit more power forward and focusing on really good that dracula which is awesome but you can't go wrong both these versions are awesome and i hope you enjoy these great highlights as always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below. Make sure you subscribe. Catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Thank you to Marvel Contest of Champions for sponsoring today's video. Marvel Contest of Champions is an epic mobile fighting game that, that you fight with iconic heroes and villains from every corner of the Marvel Universe. Speaking of iconic villains, to celebrate Venom The Last Dance, you can get the newly retextured Venom for free right now. And that's not all. Log in for seven days and you can get anti-venom for free as well. These two villains and so many more are gonna look better than ever with the highly anticipated 60 frames per second update coming on November 4th. With new game modes like battlegrounds, raids, and incursions, there's never been a better time to jump back in. I know you all love Marvel, so use this special code to get all these amazing rewards right now. Use code BINKS MCOC WELCOME to help support the channel and gear up to become the ultimate champion. And make sure to head to Marvel Contest of Champions website to sign up with your email for even more rewards. Make sure to use the link in the description below. Let's get back to it. They did get a <laughs> win a land with four cards, which should f you, dude. Let's go, Makari Queen. I think I'm gonna go strong guy right, crossbones right. I don't think I'm gonna win here. I need somewhere to play my um crossbones. Wind aid my hand. This is annoying as hell for them to deal with. Insanely annoying for them to deal with. Just wins no matter what, huh? 50-50 to super win. I guess Shang-Chi could be an issue, maybe, but... Another issue would be Eliath, right? Yeah, we just always win. Lose the Doom. Good point. Yeah, yeah. This, this deck could run Doom. I don't know if people run Doom in Black Knight anymore, though. I'd be kind of surprised. It gave me all one drops. How unlikely is that? That's crazy. 
Yeah, man, 22 and 20 plus 13 cubes. Damn, that's sick. I thought we were getting our ass beat today. <laughs> we're also playing someone who I'm fairly certain runs uh, Killmonger. But they lost a draw, so... There's that. I do have Pryo. Let's try and try and echo, echo them. Oh! Shit. Yeah, they did lose another draw with this Agent 13, right? Hey, would have gotten old Zabu. Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> They lost three draws. <laughs> they didn't draw. They drew one time. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> Zabu value? I don't remember if I can play Cole left or not. Can you? I can. Cool. Uh, I still want Marvel Boy first. Yeah, I also missed the Zabu Roar. I don't know why they took it away. Ah, because of the bugs. Be right back building an Odin Bastek. Yeah, it's just a just an insane, insane thing to play. Yeah, I think if you're going to run Bass, you should run Agent Venom for sure. Get real weird with it. Oh, this comes out of hand. It's really good. Potentially really annoying. Yeah, we'll play it up. US Agent doesn't really do anything. Still have to worry about Marvel Boy. Pretty good amount of points coming down left. I literally only gave them a, what, an Infinite and a 2-3. Yeah. Good snap there. Really good snap. I'm planning on Shadow King and maybe two, so. so Marvel Boy's kind of just bait. Kind of just biding our time. I guess we can play another Marvel Boy. It's fine. Do we just go Coal Obsidian into like Crossbone Scar? 
And just say they don't have Shang Chi because they don't. They, they literally never have Shang Chi. We are the future. Yeah, Juggernaut doesn't matter. I don't think that's going to be enough, brother. Could have been enough. That miles lane in the middle we lost. Oh no, we didn't. Mm. No, we were fine. Victory. This gave us more Marvel Boy fuel, brother. Still have all three four costs in my deck. I need multiple SK targets. Wind aid my hand. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get fucking Storm Legion comboed. I'm actually gonna get fucking Storm Legion comboed. I have to have the Marvel Boy double hit right every turn. play six here I'd probably go demon demon maybe demon float I might just throw left I think they have a card that's more than eight. I guess they could have like, but well they can't infinite, right? What do you mean throw left, like not play left? Whole middle? I mean, I would pick middle if I was going to. I think they throw left. That's right. <laughs> tough call out. Really tough call out there. Victory. 
I wonder how many people load up the game with the intention of stream sniping a streamer's deck. Uh, not many. I think much less than people. Much less than people generally think. Taking aim. Four four machine is fine for specifically three two storm. Like maybe? I don't know. I could be pretty dog shit. If I had to guess. Ugh. What am I doing with my energy here, man? Collector's Vault limited to cards you already own. It's probably limited to cards you already own. I think it'd be very unlikely they would just give you free, free cards. I think my win condition is them not respecting 20 power Dracula. Probably. We'll probably lose though. They have like a billion power. We kind of need, like, exactly Scar, Coal Obsidian. Most we lose. Does not look like they're going to respect 20 power. Or Straw, Pog. But, I mean, 20 power Dracula is still crazy, so. I don't know. They'd probably get me with, like, Monkey or something here. We, we need a Cole or Scar. But playing the hood middle. Okay, that's huge. Wow, they just don't respect it at all. People are just not respecting this deck, man. We were just not respecting this deck at all. Victory. It's good for us. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like they only make your hand clunky for the dumb part of the strategy. Sometimes. And sometimes I'm able to get like a free scar, like a two power scar. It's really strong. A lot of give and take. <laughs> Want to play crossbones there? Uh, I think I meant to, if I'm being honest with you. Then I didn't. I can just go here. Kind of forces them not to play left or middle. Kind of stuck in a weird spot. The only way they could tie left with their deck is probably Scar. I don't know what the hell is Madam Web is doing their deck, but I respect it. I think the OTA makes the War Machine deck worse. Yeah, for sure. Made Storm Legion work more smoothly. 
I mean, I, I disagree with that pretty strongly, but whatever floats your boat. What do they have left? Okay, it is just Scar. So that we're just doing a tiebreaker race? I think they moved the Cosmo. They must, right? They always move the Cosmo. again Victory. crazy power output and retreating often yeah it's, it's about cube efficiency it's about having good cube efficiency and as long as you have positive cube efficiency you can just be a time frame like you can win 51 percent more cubes than you lose right or like one percent more cubes than you lose and then you're fine it's kind of how that ish goes Makari, just don't fucking land right. <laughs> just don't land right, Makari, please. I just got to stop asking the game for shit, man. Hello. Hello. They're in Killmonger? Ah, eh, probably not. Oh, we won. Correct. Victory. Now, I did say that jokingly, and do they probably run Killmonger? Yes, <laughs> they almost certainly do. <laughs> but they didn't draw it, and they didn't snap, and we take those. Death is literally almost impossible to play without serious energy shenanigans. Yeah, but I think death is really good. I don't know, man. I like. I. I don't know. I. That. that and that's just how I assess cards. Because people can assess cards however they want, right? But I think I try to assess cards like that. That's why I get yelled at about my tier list sometimes. Because I put cards that are in like really good decks in like tier two, and people are like, "What the fuck are you talking about? This is one of the best decks in the game." And it's like, yeah, but it's only there because like there's no other card that does what it does. I'm sure everyone doesn't want it to be in the deck, but it just it just kind of has to be. Your point is you can't always assess a card in a vacuum. That's a great point. I think that's a very smart point. What is the worst card that sees a lot of play? Good question, man. I think I'm snapping here. Not overly opposed to snapping. I know that uh, Cosmo's there. I just need to get some fill for 
Get him in. This could win. Howard the Duck doesn't see very much play. I don't think Baron Zemo gets sees that much play either. I think they win. La I don't know how they're going to make more points than me left. Yeah, not even close. Fuck you. Further, faster, baby. That's for me! That's for me, Carol! Bounce is too hard, you just want to chill. Don't we all, man? Ooh. The sexy card. What if I just want to use this? Systems go. might lose this. Of course Shadow King's gonna come in at the fucking last second to save a game. That's how it always fucking happens, man. Yeah. Oh, we just win. Oh, you don't think I got big cards in here, Bucko? Bucko thinks I got none big cards, man. Victory. Make sure we go Cole, Colleen Wing left, probably. This deck could have, like, Miss Marvel, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. Sucks to lose that, but gotta do it. Plus 14 should be enough to net us left. Should beat Odin. Should beat a lot of things. I guess Ironheart is kind of scary, actually. Squirrel's right? Why? Writing 20 power right. 
I don't think losing one is going to matter that much. You lose one power? No, I don't. I get the same amount of power. I get the same amount of power, it's just in a better uh, spread for me. Victory. Just because I'd have one here and zero here, it's still net one power. Now, looking at negative numbers on your board does feel bad. I will give you that. It does feel bad to see a negative number on your board. Snap. I, I like my hand a lot. And this early Marvel Boy is really good too. Wow, early Sage. Kind of surprising. Sage left is so weird because I feel like you want to scoop this, right? I feel like you want to scoop left. But, but then you're scooping your Age of Venom that you don't want to bounce. That, that's weird. I don't. I don't. I don't think that was smart. You <laughs> probably just fan, I guess. I no. Echo blindness is real, man. Of of anything you could say, dude. Echo blindness is the. Echo blindness is so common, dude. <laughs> what? Why'd you play that there, man? Hmm. This is a very awkward turn. What were they cooking, man? I don't know what the hell they were cooking. It was stinky, though.